Okay, you pray, Mahal. Dear Lord, we pray to you today. This day we're gonna go to the hospital and have our child. Pray that you watch over us, that you guide the doctors and nurses. And ensuring that it's a successful birth and the uh, Rochelle makes it through unharmed and that the baby's healthy. Pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Check if I have mask. Yep, my mask is here. Good morning guys. So today it's a big day for us. I will start my birth blood today. So today is October 8, 2021. So we are on our way now to hospital to give birth. <laughs> yes, guys, you hear me right to give birth. So bigyan ko lang kayo ng recap, guys. Kung ba't ngayon ako manganganak. It's my 39 weeks today. So, ngayon ako nakaschedule manganak. Kasi last, last, no. Last week, my 38 weeks. So, they do ultrasound to me. And then, they found out that the baby's bridge. So, kung sa Pinas, nakaano siya, suwi. So, yung heads niya yung nasa up. Hindi siya nasa down. So, ayun. So, they schedule me immediately today after a week to do flip kumbaga itatry nilang ikutin yung baby kung iikot pa siya so if ever ito yung scenario today pagpunta natin sa hospital they try to flip if the babies flip they're going to induce me so i-induce nila ako straight so ibig sabihin parang bibigyan na nila ako ng gamot na pampalabor or pampahilap para wala na daw chance na bumalik ulit yung baby sa pagkasuwi so today talaga rin mga anak, yun yung normal if ever na umikot if ever na hindi naman siya umikot they're going to do a cesarean so yun, straight cesarean din siya parang if ever na hindi umikot, diretso cesarean so today na talaga siya Kaya, ayun na, medyo kabado, pero at the same time, much lamang yung, mas lamang yung excited. So, ayun. Are you excited, mahal? My mahal is like, excited and kind of terrified. <laughs> and this is our car seat and the bag. We had two bags, so the other bag is baby's things and the other one is for me and Jeff so ayun, good luck to us guys so I'm wearing my lucky charm dress because it's a big day today so ayun na samahan nyo kami guys see ya later I'm back <laughs> so guys the they will do the procedure of flipping induce and uh, or CS it's, kinda, it's like around 1 p.m. But now it's just only 10. We need to be there around 10.30. Kasi may ano pa sila, uh, ako pala. They're going to do a swab test to me but not to Jeff, only me. So, ayun. Kaya kailangan maaga kami doon kasi may mga gagawin pa silang procedure, uh, parang protocols like that. Pero yung pinaka-procedure talaga, yung flip, uh, 1.30 talaga siya naka-schedule. So, yun. Kaya, medyo maaga kami. Sabi naman nila, ano, uh, yeah, required kami magsuot ng mask inside the hospital. And then, if the result of swab test is negative, uh, they allow us to have a visitors. Pero pag positive, they are not allowed visitors. So, ayun. Hoping na negative siya kasi wala naman ako nararamdaman. <laughs> wala naman ako kahit na ano. Healthing, healthy. See, buntis. A few moments later. Wow. 
at the hospital guys so that's the hospital it's named Lutheran Hospital so let's park our car it's a big hospital so we're here now guys at the hospital and then that's Jeff <laughs> Jeff's walking with our two bags that's baby's bag and then that's our bag me and Jeff so yeah in Amis Hospital, not check in. So here we are at our room. Nakado na rin ako. Tag dito, hospital gown. <laughs> so kararating lang namin. So pina kinuwaan ako ng urine and then pinabihes. So I'm just waiting for them to come in to do some test. So yun. Tour ko kayo guys. I'm in the door saying it's a boy. Ayan. Tapos may table dito. Ayan yung aking tumbler. Ayan siya. Tapos ito yung bathroom. Toilet is so nice. It's so clean. Ayan yung shower room. So mag shower. Kasi ito na yung room namin. Ayan yung mga gamit namin. Ayan na si Jeff. Nakiki Wi-Fi. <laughs> He's enjoying his Wi-Fi. And then, here's... That's my bed over there. And then, some of the monitors. Oh my gosh. This is it, guys. This is real. Some things. Hi guys, so it's 11.35 a.m. now. Ayun, marami nang nangyari. <laughs> so they do swab tests on me. Oh my gosh, it's really hurt. Doon ako umiyak sa swab test. Kaya grabe sa mga tao dyan na linggo-linggo nagsiswab test dahil sa trabaho nila. Paano nyo nakakaya guys? Sobrang hirap. Sobrang sakit. Parang tinusok yung utak ko. <laughs> and then they put me uh, they put a baby monitor on my tummy. Like that. So yan yung nagmamonitor ng kanyang heartbeat. And then they put IV on me. I think IV. Mahal, this is what you called IV? Yeah. Yeah, they put IV on me. They put fluid. Where is it? That one. Yeah. She said I need three bags of fluid. And that's the monitor. That, yeah. That's the screen that monitors baby's heartbeat and all. So, ayun na guys. Wait na lang tayo. Mag 1.30 to start the procedure of flipping I hope it goes well hi guys so ayun na nga nakapanganak na tayo ito na si baby Stanley nagdi daddy na siya so ayun na nga guys update ko kayo sa aking birth vlog so around 11 to 12 so pumunta na yung anesthesiologist dito sa room namin para bigyan ako ng anesthesia so epidural yung binigay nila sa akin ang expected ko sa epidural sobrang sakit pag nilagay pero hindi naman sobrang wala wala kung may para lang siyang kagat pero wala sobrang okay siya 
Tapos bandang 1 p.m. dumating na yung doctor namin. So, siya, na yung, siya yung gagawa ng procedure ng pag-flip kay baby. Tapos, hindi siya dito sa room na to ginawa. Doon siya sa operating room. So, around 1, lumipat na kami doon sa operating room kasama si Jeff. Tapos, kailangan nakasuot siya ng hair. Parang cover sa hair, cover sa shoes. Nakakover lahat ng, ng ano niya, ng katawan. Tapos, grabe, sobra. Nakakaba nung dinala ko sa operating, operating room. Kasi, parang sampu, sampu yata yung kasama kong mga naka, parang pinagsama-samang doctor and nurse. So, ako sabay ko, hala, oh my gosh, sobrang kinakabahan na ako. <laughs> Tapos, nanginginig na yung buong katawan ko, which is normal kasi side effect pala nung gamot na nilagay sa akin. Tapos, yung anesthesiologist na, ka, na nagbigay sa akin nung epidural, kasama ko rin sa, F, sa, sa operating room the whole time. Siya yung nasa, ul, nasa ulo, ulo ko banda. Kasi if ever na, halimbawa, makaramdam ako ng sakit, lalagyan niya ulit ako ng anesthesia, ganyan. So, siya yung parang, you can do it, you're, you're doing good, parang <laughs> siya yung motivate sa akin. So, pagpasok namin sa operating room, so, ito na nga yung kwento. So, they, the doctor tried to flip him. So, alam mo yung kahit ano yung katawan mo, wala kang maramdaman. Pero ramdam mo yung pressure nung iniikot niya yung chat. Parang inaano niya yung chan mo. Ramdam na ramdam ko. Tapos gumalaw lang si baby ng konti. Parang umigot lang siya ng konti. Pero hindi siya bumaba totally. So, sabi ng doctor, parang parang nakastak na talaga siya doon. So, tapos tinanong niya ako, ano itatry pa ba ulit natin? Tapos sabi ko, grabe yung pressure na nararamdam ko sa chan ko. Tapos sa inano ko nga rin siya, what do you think? Is it, is, is it still possible that he can turn around? And then parang inaano niya na parang, ah, parang nakastak na siya doon. So, okay, let's do the CS. Pag sabi kong let's do the CS, tuloy-tuloy <laughs> sila guys, as in, hindi na lumabas ng operating room. Nandun na naka, sinota na nila ng gown yung doctor, nandun na yung mga gagamitin. Tapos yung anesthesiologist nasa katabi ko. Si Jeff nasa katabi kong kabila. So, ayun na nga. Tapos sinara, may harang yung ano ko. May harang. Hindi ko na makikita yung paghiwa sa tiyan ko. So, ayun na. Hiniwa na siya. Pagkahiwa, labas na si baby. Wala naman ako naramdaman. Paglabas niya, yung cord niya, mahal. What part of his body that cord around him? So, around his neck, yung cord niya. So, yung pala yung nagpipigil kung, ba, kung pa, paikot niya pababa. Dahil may cord na nga na naka round sa kanyang neck. So, yun. Tapos, nung pinasilip, sa, pinasilip lang sa akin si baby, tapos din, nilagay na agad, nilinisan na agad nila. Tapos, ayun na, tinatahi na yung ano ko nararamdam. May konti lang ako nararamdaman. Tapos, yung anesthesiologist ko, parang sinasabi niya, are you, are you okay? Did you feel anything? Eh, tapos pala, ano ay, nasusuka ako nung no, ano, kasi parang nararamdaman ko. Since nasusuka ako, may nilagay na naman siyang gamot sa akin. Paglagay niya ng gamot, nawala na yung pagsusuka ko. So, parang yung operation, tumagal lang siya na around 45 minutes. So, after 45 minutes ng cesarean, so, ayun, tapos na. Diretso kami sa recovery room. Hindi kami dumiretso dito sa room namin na to. Doon kami sa recovery room tumuloy. So, pagdating doon, doon, mag stay kami ng 2 hours kasi parang i-observahan nila ng 2 hours. Oh my gosh, guys, sobrang sakit nung pag stay ko sa operating room kasi so, di ba nga inano na nila yung parang na, kahit pa paano nawawala na ng konti yung, yung anesthesia so mararamdaman mo na yung sakit 
Tapos, every 15 minutes, pinipress nung nurse yung chan mo or yung kung saan ka hiniwaan kasi chinecheck niya ng gusto. Yun yung sobrang sakit na part. Kaya, oh my God, sa mga nag, nag cesarean, sobrang nakaka-proud kayo, guys. Kasi, naramdaman ko yung sakit. <laughs> sobrang sakit. Tapos ngayon, ano na, medyo okay-okay na siya. So, ayun. Papakita ko sa inyo yung ibang, hindi, hindi kami inalawd mag-video nung mismong operation, nung cesarean, yung paglabas ni baby. Pero may mga video, may mga picture ako na, na, na si Jeff nagputol ng cord, tas na nandun kami sa operating room. So, papakita ko sa inyo yung picture, guys. Say hi. Hi, Black. My name is Stanley. Siya'y bagong ligo. Come on. Kaya siya ay sleep. So, ito na siya, guys. Ito na ang aming baby, Stanley. Abangan nyo ang kanyang mga vlog. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye guys, thank you for watching my bird blog.